Hey everybody and welcome back to the Motor One channel. Today we're taking our first look at the 2021 Toyota Venza and I'm joined by MotorOne.com senior editor Jeff Perez. Jeff, how are you doing today? Good. How are you, Clint? I'm doing okay. Thanks for uh, taking a first look with me as we get into one of two vehicles that Toyota is showing off to the world today. We'll talk about the second one later, um, but let's start with the Venza. So the Venza is a Toyota crossover that lived once upon a time a few years ago in the United States. Um, and it was just sort of your boring everyday mundane crossover and Toyota is reviving it, but they're doing so and adding a few things in the process. We start with uh, an only hybrid option. So there's no yeah. gas only variant with the Venza. So when you read through this, um, tell me a little bit about what you think with this and, and why they're choosing to do this. Well, uh, this isn't their first hybrid only car. Obviously, that was the Prius, but this is sure. their first hybrid only SUV. Um, and I, it, it makes a lot of sense. It's the same powertrain essentially from the RAV4. You get the, the 2.5 liter four cylinder. Um, you get up to 40 miles per gallon in the right trim. And it's a pretty smart move by them, if you ask me. So it does make sense. So we have 219 horsepower uh, and a combined projected, this is Toyota projected, not EPA projected, 40 combined MPG. Right. Um, that's not bad. Yeah, it's good. That's, that's really not bad. That competes um, and actually does a better job with things like the Ford Edge or Subaru Outback, um, some of the cars that uh, this one will go toe to toe with it, to me, it, it's like a two thirds Highlander is the best way for me to put it. Um, when you look at the exterior design, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Granted, this car is not that exciting to look at. <laughs> it's not, I like the profile a lot. Um, it's pretty sleek. It looks streamlined. Like you said, it looks kind of like the Highlander, but it definitely has a unique design. The front grille, it's a little weird but i think overall it it works it looks nice is there anything that jumps out at you like oh this is definitely pointing toyota into a specific design direction is there anything that just screams yes they nailed this or no they didn't nail this at all toyota is always infamous for their big grills and i think that's still yeah. sort of true here it's a little toned down than what you get on like the highlander but it, it's still pretty noticeable I like the the tail lights that Toyota has been doing recently, especially this one. You have the the full LED light bar. It's really sleek. It's really sharp. I actually think this car looks a lot better from the rear than it does the front. I have to agree with you. I think there's a lot of uh, Lexus RX in it. The way it, it's sort of, I don't want to say eggy because that's mean, but it's definitely more rounded out than some of the other cars in the Toyota portfolio. Yeah, the Highlander looks pretty different than this car. You can definitely see some similarities in the face, but like you said, the, the single LED tail light, I think it's pretty clean, good design. Yeah, I agree. I already mentioned it's kind of like two thirds Highlander and that's really regarding the size of the car, but inside it's pretty much a Highlander. You can get the same 12.3 inch infotainment screen. Uh, you can get the same seven inch uh, digital instrument cluster. There's a 10 inch head up display, which is really cool to have. Uh, in a crossover like this. And then they're doing some new things like a fully digital rear view mirror. And they're even throwing in this fancy new uh, panoramic sunroof that can go opaque, I think. They're calling it like frost control or something. Yeah, I think it's nice. I, I like what Toyota has been doing recently with a lot of their interior designs. And like you said, this kind of just mimics the Highlander. Uh, one thing I will say that I don't like just by looking at the images, you can already see that they updated this with their new infotainment. Yes. And uh, we had some issues with that in the Highlander. It's just very confusing and messy, but you do get CarPlay and Android Auto standard. So that is nice. But otherwise, like I said, it's just a, it's a nice clean design overall. Yeah. I think you and I are mostly in agreement when we tested the Highlander a couple of months ago. The screen is nice to work with. It's, it's mm -hmm. you know, you can, uh, it's not bad, but the menus in Toyota, infotainment is just nuts. You have to click through 40 different menus just to get to something and it's pretty convoluted. Yeah, Entune, their their infotainment system has not been great, like always. Mm -hmm. uh, and their latest update, I, I feel like it actually sets them back a little bit. It's just too cluttered, too messy, too hard to use. 
Um, but the screen itself is nice and you just plug in your phone and you have CarPlay and Android Auto right there. And you also do get some neat um, hybrid driving, I guess, dynamic stuff that tells you what kind of power you're using, how much power you have, how much battery right. you have, which is always you know nice to have. I don't mind this. As we look through some of the interior stuff, it seems like there's a nice material selection. This example has a cool black and brown color scheme going on where it combines the two. I can see in the center console, there's a lot of RAV4 that sticks out to me. The RAV4 mm -hmm. that we just tested kind of had the same shape with the center console. So I think it's a, like a nice selection of materials. It doesn't look too overdone. Um, but that screen just looks a lot more tacked on this go around than it does in the Highlander where it's sort of like integrated. Yeah, the design here is kind of weird. Um, I think in the Highlander, like you said, it's a, it's too busy. Uh, I don't think this is too busy. I think it's just a little oddly shaped and the screen yeah. just sort of sticks out among, you know, a lot of the nicer materials and stuff, but I don't hate it. I mean, you, you look at the rest of the cars in this segment and it's a pretty clean design. It's pretty nice. The materials look nice. So we'll have to see more of it in person before we can, you know, really decide if we like it or don't like it. Because you can never have too many crossovers. They're going to shove this in between the RAV4 uh, and the Highlander. Do you think that's a niche that needs to be filled or is that even a stupid question at this point? Because the answer is always yes. I think that's, I think it is a niche that needs to be filled. I think the, the RAV and the Highlander are two very different vehicles. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're, they sort of cross over a little bit in price once you start getting higher up on the, on the RAV4. Um, but there's a weird space in between the RAV and the Highlander that, that makes a lot of sense for this car because it's definitely not rugged, right? Rugged, no. which is what they tried to do with the Highlander. Um, and it's definitely and the RAV4, not, to be fair. Yeah, excuse me, the RAV4. The Highlander is more of a, of a family vehicle. So I think the Venza makes sense in between that if someone, you know, say doesn't want the rugged looking RAV4, but they also don't want the huge Highlander. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's going to work out uh, like we kind of talked about at the beginning of this video. I think the hybrid only strategy isn't a bad one. I think if anything, that's sort of the thing that Toyota leans into. They've been hybrid strong for so long. They have the Prius DNA to work with. They have um, the hydrogen car, which I'm forgetting, like I always forget, but Mirai. it looks good now. The Mirai, because yeah. they brought it back to life yeah. and it looks like a car now. Um, so they're leaning into this hybrid thing and let's see how it works out for them. Yeah, let's see. Any final thoughts on the 2021 Toyota Venza? Um, I think it's a smart move. I think the nameplate is, I don't know if it's an iconic nameplate. Actually, I know it's nope. not an iconic <laughs> nameplate, uh, but I think it's, it's strong enough to like bring it back and say, you know, look, this is the new Venza. This is the hybrid Venza, 40 miles per gallon, really nice interior, you know, sleek exterior. So I think it makes sense. I think it's a good move for Toyota. Yep, no pricing information yet. Um, and I don't think they committed to uh, an on sale date. I didn't read through no, all that specifically. It, it, it'll probably go on sale at the end of the year, but they haven't confirmed it. Yeah, kind of everything is in flux right now. But this is the first look for the 2021 Toyota Venza. Jeff Perez, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me.